Computerbase vor Ort auf dem MWC. Wir sind hier am Stand von Blackberry, sprechen mit Jamie über das Q10 und das Z10. Hi guys, uh, so I'm going to show you the Z10, which is uh, the new BlackBerry. It's based on BlackBerry 10 uh, software, which is uh, redesigned, re-engineered, reinvented BlackBerry experience. And we spent a lot of time trying to get the experience uh, that, that our BlackBerry customers want, which is uh, this ability to keep moving, to get information, content, and uh, notifications whenever you need it. So it starts right from the right from the beginning. So here's my lock screen. You can see my alerts on the left, all of the notifications I've got, and any meetings that I have coming up. And if I want to, I can just slowly peek into the BlackBerry uh, Z10 uh, home screen. So these are all my active frames that are currently running. These are all active applications, and I have up to eight active frames running at any one time. They're all live. And if I scroll, I can see all my traditional applications, the traditional app screen that you you would expect on a modern smartphone. And I'm, I'm currently in my, you can see here, my fifth screen of applications. Now, if I receive a notification, the red light goes off, and I can simply uh, move up and see the notifications come in. And if I decide it's important, like a BBM, I can peek into my BlackBerry Hub. And this is my BlackBerry Hub. It's running. It's it's uh, housing all of the content and updates from all of the applications that I use, social networks like Facebook, Twitter, my BBM, my email, my Hotmail, my Gmail, my text messages. All of this is in one place. And again, I can just access that from anywhere. And if I want to go back, I just strike up, and it takes me back to the active frames that I was using previously. So I just simply up and pull over to the right. So it means that if I'm watching a movie, or I'm playing a game, and somebody contacts me, just with one simple gesture, one simple flow, I can get access to all the content and be able to respond to them straight away. So <coughs> receiving those alerts are great, but obviously one, one of the things that people who have BlackBerry or like BlackBerry want to do is respond to those alerts and make, make something happen. So one of the things we've done is we've invented a new uh, BlackBerry 10 keyboard experience. We've taken everything that people love about the physical keyboard and we've deployed it onto a full-touch smartphone. So I'm going to show you that keyboard experience. So if I go into, uh, I'm just going to go into a, an alert here. Uh, here's a message from Derek. I'm going to reply to Derek and I'm, I'm going to say hi. So I, first of all, I type H and the keyboard is now predicting what word I want to use. And this prediction is based on the content that I use in my emails and my tweets or my Facebook, so it's personal to me. So uh, you can see it's predicting the word hey, which is how I say hello to people. So if I want to use that word, I just flick up and hey appears on the screen. So now I can type with just one thumb. So I say hey there, how are you doing? So with just three or four swipes, I've wrote a whole sentence, one-handed with one thumb, whilst talking to you guys. So very quick, very fast, very accurate experience for typing. When you're on the go, when you're getting all your Facebook posts, all your tweets, and you want to respond to them, that's a really great experience. And again, at any time, I can just strike up, I go back to my active frames, and uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to use those applications whenever I want to. So one of the other things we've done is something called the BlackBerry Flow. So what you'll see is if I go into my BlackBerry Hub, can cancel this message. If I go into my BlackBerry Hub, I can pull down and I can access content from wherever I, wherever I am on the device. So here you can see I'm at Showstoppers. So I'm going to access, this was our pre-briefing before Showstoppers. And what it's doing is it's pulling in all of the information on the device into my BlackBerry Hub. So I haven't had to go into my calendar, I haven't had to go into my contacts, it's pulling all of that information into the hub where I need it. So now I can simply access Oliver, and it's telling me, okay, here's Oliver, and it will now start to read the internet for updates about Oliver's company. He works for BlackBerry, so if I press updates, it's now checking the internet, and it's finding alerts for BlackBerry, and again, I haven't had to go into the browser, I haven't had to go into contacts, it will do all this for me. So it's now reading the internet and it pulls up all these alerts 
and you can just simply click on these alerts and into your browser. Very simple and easy to use. And again, anytime I can just go back straight into my uh, into my active frames. So, and that's a perfect um, uh, ex example of the library flow. And the other thing that we've done that's really special is something called BlackBerry Balance. So BlackBerry Balance is a technology that we use to help keep our end users and the IT guys happy at the same time. So I'm in my personal area here. This is all my personal content, my personal BBM, my personal photos. I can simply drag down, select work, and everything changes. Now, everything in this area is to do with BlackBerry and my corporate company. And my IT guy controls all of this area. But if I want to, I can go back to personal, and I control the, the whole personal area. So for example, if I go into BlackBerry World in personal, you can see there's games and there's applications and music. If I go into if I go into BlackBerry World in work, all the applications are different. These are applications that my company have allowed me to access for corporate use. I have influence if I phone the IT guy and ask him and he believe and he wants to do it, then he'll do it. But it's up to him. He controls it. He can push applications, he can remove applications, he can mandate applications. Now what get, what gets really cool here is let's say I'm in my uh, corporate email. And I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to copy some text. So I've just copied some text from my corporate email. Now if I want to, if I wanted to share that confidential information on Twitter or Facebook for example, so let's go into Twitter in my personal area. And if I, uh, It won't let me paste that content into Twitter. Because it knows I've taken that content from my corporate space, I've gone into my personal space, and then I'm trying to share it on my own personal uh, applications, and my IT, my IT department doesn't want me to do that. And what if your IP department uh, allows it on Twitter on the that's company fine. side of that? That's fine. That's yeah, fine. yeah they, can, they can mandate that application in the BlackBerry uh, world in, in the work section, yeah. So it's a very elegant, simple way to control the division of content between personal and corporate. Um, we think we think businesses are going to love this. We really do. So yeah, and here's all my applications, all my content, and again, anytime I can just flick into my hub. So I could be watching a movie. Uh, let's go into videos here. We'll watch a, my, my. I was teaching my son how to ride a bike on the weekend, so I'm going to play this movie. So anytime I can just peek into the hub and the movie's still running, right? I can go back to the movie. It's a very powerful experience. So basically you put task managing right in, into the center of attention. That's where it all begins. It's, it's the eight applications. Exactly. Well we think, yeah, you go back to your eight applications. Yeah. We think most people spend their time in the BlackBerry hub. Because most that's where people who like BlackBerry have lots of social media, social networking applications, lots of contacts. So they're going to spend a lot of time in the hub. And um, but anytime they want to, they can go straight back to their applications, or they can go to a more traditional application screen. But we, yeah, we think most of our customers are going to spend their time here and here. And finally, can you give us like the key hardware specifications again? Sure. So it's a full touch screen. 4.2 inch uh, display. Uh, it's a very high resolution screen, I'm sure you can see in the video. So 331 dots per inch. So very, very high spec. Um, it's running LTE, so 4G. Um, uh, yes, yeah, quad core processor. But the way we've engineered the software with a micro kernel OS means that it's a very efficient use of uh, processing power. So the experience is really strong. I mean, it's a really great experience. Uh, and it's it's also running, um, if I come back up, 
It's also ro running some really cool consumer applications, like for example, uh, have you seen this uh, time shift? So it's a new experience for uh, taking um, photos. So for example, we're going to take a photo of you, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Could you just blink a few times? Okay. Okay, so what time shift has done, it's taken a photo, now I can select your face, and I can move to the right to get the perfect shot, right? So you're, let's say I took your photo and your eyes were closed. Yeah. I can just move it back to the point where, okay, that's perfect. So now I select it and the picture changes. And I can select it and away it goes. Okay, and, that, and that's the picture, it saves finally. It saves it and you yeah. can share it, you can okay. send it. Great. Yeah. So there you go, there you are again. <laughs> and I can share you straight away. I won't send you to my BBM friends because they'll think. Don't, don't. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's very simple and easy to use. There you are again. Thank you very much. Uh, the Q10 is based on the same specs? Exactly the same, yeah. Well, not the same, it's the same experience. Yeah. yeah. So with the Q10, we've taken that same experience the peak, the flow, the hub, all of that. And again, you can, you can sort of peak up and uh, let's go up here. And you can scroll into your hub, and you have all your alerts here. So they're very easy to use. And I can select the different alerts that I want. Uh, so yeah, it's exactly the same. Flick back straight into my applications. Can you tell us? Sorry. Uh, can you tell us something about the availability of the Q10? Maybe in Europe, Germany. Yeah, so uh, Z10 is available now. Uh, I think it's coming to Germany in, uh, in the next few weeks, but it's available in a number of European, North American, and, and uh, Middle Eastern markets. Uh, and um, Q10 will launch in calendar Q2. Q2, yeah. but no specific date yet. We, we haven't released a specific date yet, but, okay. but in Q2. Okay. But in the meantime, the experience of Z10, where you're flicking to type and all that sort of stuff, we think our customers are going to love that typing experience as well. So they don't have a choice. 